Well guys, I finally got on a dry dropper. This doesn't work thing. I guess it's just not meant to be for today. I'll have to come back another day maybe. But we're real lucky he'll just come up and eat it. Got him. It's a giant. It's a giant. Hey, don't get out of here. Oh, it's a giant. Look at that. guys welcome back to the western edition of Hardman fishing adventures today i'm just gonna be fishing a little tiny creek you can kind of see here behind me this is about as small of a creek really is that you can get that still sustains trout so i'm excited i love fishing these these small creeks like this uh, so we're gonna get after it and hopefully find ourselves a few fish let's get moving I need a bigger drop while I can see this one. Got him. Holy crap. Holy no. He popped off. He popped it right out of there. There may not be one in there, but... Got him. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. First fish out of the creek. I mean, the creek can't get much smaller than this before you really, you really aren't tr trout in it anymore. There we go. First fish, nice little birth trout. I mean, he was in, what is that, ankle deep water, maybe? Pretty sick. Maybe possible from this side. Oh, I see one, a decent one. Got him. What I'm talking about, not bad at all. What a hole this is. I see a trout. I don't know if I can even cast that to be honest. Literally sitting in the Oh! Got him. No. He's back. Maybe I'll eat again. I mean, why is the wind now blowing towards me? Can't reach out for it now. Got him. That's what I'm talking about, dude. This is nothing. It's like fishing a meadow creek right here. So much grass. Little guy, but still just so cool where they where they sit. Oh, and he's gone. Tried to hold him up, but that didn't work out, did it? Oh my gosh, I do see fish. I 
Got one. Whoa. That is crazy. I walked down this this creek and as you can see above me here, it's this giant waterfall. And just below me there's another giant waterfall. So I wasn't sure if there were brooks out in between the two and there is. Not a bad fish either. Just out of curiosity. Oh well, this guy's in the net, I'm about to release him. I want to see if this other trout will hit. It's also in the same hole. Yep. Oh my gosh. This one's bigger. Well, you gotta double up. Ah. We got both of them. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I already have the camera out and everything for the release. I guess we're just gonna see quickly if we can just show off these two brook trout, maybe. If I can find them. Here's the one. A little bit smaller guy than the other ones much bigger. Look at that. That is a good size brook trout right there. Alright, let's get these guys released up back where they came from. See, if there's anything up here at the waterfall, if there's something right there, then uh, definitely going to be Something up here, I would guess. I'm impressed so far. There we go. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Too bad at all. There he goes. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh gosh, I just soaked my foot. Oh boy. I'm gonna set down in the water too, luckily. I didn't. Well guys, this is perfect. The creek goes straight over a cliff. I mean, it is, it just drops way off into the valley here, but oh my gosh. I hope my mule deer trail or whatever I'm following makes it down the cliff without rock climbing. Oh man, could be bad. There is a trail though, so I don't, I'm sure some people have used this in the past. I can't be the only one that's dumb enough to just so walking off a cliff down a creek. Guess I'll update you guys if, uh, if I really come to a bad spot. I mean, this is already a bad spot. I mean, straight over the hill already. Well, hopefully I'll meet you guys down, down the creek further to where it's flattened out and, and find some more fish maybe. Well guys, I've put on a size about 24 dry fly and it looks like the fish is a little more active now so we'll see if he reacts to this at all oh he tried to eat it and he missed it Oh my gosh, I had a hard hike. I had a small one eat it just before and I didn't pull back because I didn't want to spook him. Well guys, I finally got on a dry dropper. This doesn't work then. I guess it's just not meant to be for today. I'll have to come back another day maybe. But 
for real lucky he'll just come up and eat it. I wish I can even see this dog now. No shot. He missed it. Got him. It's a giant. It's a giant. No, don't go down in here. Oh, it's a giant. Look at that. He ate it. Oh. <laughs> That's unbelievable, guys. Look how big this fish is. Oh, he popped off right too, right at the net. Look at that. That is a giant. Oh. strange to be honest there's a giant one and then there's all these small ones it's almost like somebody just stalked a brooder right in front of me <laughs> oh yeah popped right out can i grab him Oh, guy. Oh, there he goes. Back in the water. Okay, so I do see fish or two. He's a burner, holy crap. He spooked like three others in the hole. It's not a bad size one. That looks like a cut bow almost. I should not bring my rod in. There you go. Well guys, I think that's going to do it for me today. I still got to hike out of here and I'm out of water and I'm starving at this point. But hope you guys enjoyed that massive cutthroat trout out of just this small creek. It was kind of weird to be honest because there was that one massive cutthroat. Now I fished up quite a bit of the stream and to be honest, the fish haven't been biting that well and I really haven't seen anything bigger than like 10 inches. So I'm not sure if that was a fluke or if somebody's just out here stalking like brood uh, cut their trout in front of me, I don't know, but it was an awesome catch. But thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch
catch you guys on another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.